All right, we're on video number two of our jQuery Ajax series. Uh, in the last uh, video, what we did is we covered how to do a get request to grab all of our orders from the server and spit them out. So what we have here is an empty UL of orders, no LIs in it. We're on page load, we are grabbing all the orders and we're spitting out an LI for each one. So that's what's going on here. And you see if I inspect this element, let's make this a little bigger here, you see that I got two LIs in here. We have populated an LI for Will and an LI for Laura. Yippee. So that's done. Let's go on and move into the next part, which is posting our new drinks. Say I want to do a drink for John and he just gets a coffee. I want to be able to add that. I want that to do something. I want it to add it to the backend server so it's now per permanently in the database. And I also want it to add it on the page when that's successful. Let's go ahead and let me show you one more thing here on this get request or the jQuery Ajax, should I say, is you can also do error. And I can do an error. If this thing does not work, I can alert. Error loading order. So I have success and I have error. If I refresh, nothing happens because it was successful. Uh, but let's say I give this a bad URL here, two S's on accident. Alert, error loading orders, and nothing happened. Cool. So I'll leave that in there. And let's go into the next part. We want to post new things to the back end. So let's look at here from the back end team. They said to add an order, you send a post request to the same URL, slash API slash orders. Except for we're not doing a get request, we're doing a post request, and which means we're sending information up. And here's the sample post data that we are sending. We're sending a JSON post, um, and we're sending this information, and it will respond kind of like a GET request. It will also have a response. Uh, we'll have the item with an ID now, which is if it's successful. So we can use that ID to reference it later if we want to update our beverage order. So let's go ahead and put that in. So we have a button here. The ID is add order. So on click of add order, We want to do something. We want to make a post. Let's go ahead and grab our information up top. Let me cache this DOM. Every time we add an order, we're going to want to look at these two fields and get the value out. So I'm going to cache these two fields up top. And I think they're called name. Yep, they're called name and drink. There you go. Name equals... name and drink. So on add order, I'm going to get those two values out of here and then I'm going to post that order. So let's go ahead and put together our little posting. Let's see from the backend team. We want to post a simple object of name and drink. So let's build that object. And name.val. Easy enough. And then drink drink.val. So that's our order right there. We have our name and our drink. We're getting the value out of these two fields and we're moving on. And then we're going to do Ajax again. This type is going to be a post, not a get, which means we're sending information. URL is the same. And then we also have a data field. Since we are passing data in, we're going to give it our order. Right there, our order object and a success function. And so the order, you can actually pass it an existing object or you can actually just kind of create an object on the fly like this. If we were to do that, that would be the exact same thing. We're creating a brand new object. It's a little cleaner, in my opinion, to build the object up there. And then so this stays clean. Um, so on success, this is our new order that they have given us back. Um, we can do the exact same thing here. Orders.append. New order. And new order. So what we're doing is we're posting our new order to the back end. We're going to wait for that to be successful. If it's successful, we are going to add a new LI to our list so it shows up on our page. And I'll also add an error. And we'll just call this alerts error saving order. Not message. There we go. 
let's see if this works. So, uh oh, I have a JavaScript error here. Let's find out what that's all about. Unexpected token on line 24. Yep, I did bad syntax. Those of you guys who are watching the video, watching that I cannot type and talk at the same time are probably laughing out loud at me. Okay, so our two drinks are populated in. Let's add a new one. John just likes coffee. Haha, -ha, it did it. Let's go ahead and look at our network tab and see what just happened. So you notice we did our initial get of orders. And then we did a little while later, we did a post to the same API. And let's look at that real quick. You'll notice we posted this information of name John drink coffee. And then we got a response of name John drink coffee and an ID of three. And so now watch what happens when we refresh our page. We've saved it to the back end and now we're getting three drinks. So if I had two more drinks, Bobby likes water, not sure why. There we go, so now if I refresh, now we have all four drinks. Awesome, we have a fully functioning app that talks to the back end. And so one thing I do not like that's going on here is I don't really like that we are copying this ex basically this exact same thing over again. So let's go ahead and pull that out. We're gonna make a function called add order. And this will just take an order. So let's get rid of this right here. Cut you out, paste you in here. Order.name. So basically, whatever we pass it is going to be calling it order. So now I just have to go add order and give it my order. Same thing down here. Hate that we're doing the exact same thing. Except for we're going to be passing it the new order in this case. That should work just fine. So I refresh. It's still populating my initial orders just fine. And if I do a new one, drink will be latte. There we go. That's working just fine as well. So now what we've done is we have pulled this out to uh, a single function here. Um, but if we want to get much more complicated than this, it's going to get really messy. I really want to start adding more elements in here, like a paragraph tag and some strong tags. But that's just going to be a giant messy string. We really want to do this with a templating engine. So let's go ahead and add in Hogan.js into our next, I will use mustache.js. Let's go ahead and add mustache.js into our next video, and then we'll add in the delete functionality to wrap up our application.